Hi guys, welcome to my ISO build. I just had the feeling I want something new, right? A new look. And all I did was type the, the alias personal2. That's it. And now I have this look. And this look means I'll have these icons. And a wallpaper that came by itself. I mean, didn't choose it. It's variety that provides me all the wallpapers from Wallhaven, right? The video is out there. I wanted to have a personal three. So the video is about theming, about how to quickly change just when you say, I want to have this or that or that or that look, change your look just instantly. Personal two, personal three. Okay. I want to create a personal three. And now this these are aliases that I have put in my bash RC. So one, two, three, four, five. I have some, some. <laughs> I still can I can still create little things, right? But whatever is inside the folder personal slash three will be copy pasted over to my system. Now this is the ISO builder. I need to be careful, right? So the only files I need, and this is what I'll I'll do. Just just this one, uh, just this one thing. I like everything what I see, but what if I would like to do the panel at the top? Panel preferences, lock the panel, drag it to the top, lock the panel again, and see. What's the difference? And this this will, will change a little bit uh, like this. Reorganize it. But um, how shall I now save this? I want to switch right person two person three person one and, and switch between themes and looks so i need to figure out and that's something we have on our systems it's a personal folder personal right and one and two and the only difference between this one and the other one let's stay in control so open folder as root come master of the system and then control c control v voila this is going to be called number three. The only difference is somewhere in the dot config, in the XFC4, in the XF config, in here, in here. Somewhere there is an information where the, the bar is or it might be somewhere else. How do we figure that out? Well, by comparing. Melt, right? So we have this open. This is all I need. And then we have also our setting the real setting of where it is is going to be in the dot config in the xfc4 in the f config in here probably going to be in here not sure right so learn super f5 file comparison too bad we can't do this in half here <laughs> yeah always so x settings xml and x settings xml what's the difference between what i've just changed and what's on there compare Nothing. So this is not where the panel is residing. The panel is not there. How do I figure out where the file is then? Well, we need to figure out the difference between one and the other. Agreed? What's better? And this is what I did for all the desktops out there. You do the following. You take dot config. Control C, Control V. You have a copy paste, in my case, it's a lot of gigabytes, <laughs> but normally it's like 20 megabytes or something. But this is the ISO build, right? So this is my copy. If I change it back, if I say to the panel, panel preferences to lock the panel, to put it back at the bottom and lock it again, it's saved, right? So what's the difference? Ah, the difference is this. Compare. Now this will take a little bit longer, 1.5 gig. So this is it. XFC4 panel XML. That's the thing. Which line? That's the line. Position, type, string, value, P8960164. So I guess that's at the bottom. And that's my copy. And that's at the top. So it's the Y that defines X and the Y that defines where it is. So I need to have 
this line, but I'm not going to copy paste a line. I'm going to copy paste a file xfc4 panel xml. Right? So back to here. That's the only thing I need, and all the rest I don't care because it will mess up your system. Just take the one you need. Is it this one? Open it up again. Yes. Check. So, Control C out of here, Control V in here. So when I type personal three, it's only three files, but it's considerably gonna change my settings, right? Change of icons and all that. Uh, the panel is now at the top. So that's how I want to easily switch. When I feel like it, I'll type personal one, personal two, or personal three, and I'll have something else. And well, it will brighten my life, so to speak. All right, cheers.